Welcome, listeners, and thank you for joining us for the newest episode of the Detective Richard Magnolia Mystery Show podcast. What will happen today as Hamilton and Magnolia continue investigating the porcelain pigeon mystery? Before we begin, let's hear it from our sponsors. Hey, boss. Hey, Sal. I've got the tributes from the from the underlings today for you. All right, let me have them. Uh, Johnny No Teeth sends uh, two hundred dollars from his drug organizations. Right on. Anything else? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, this one's actually for me. Oh yeah. Show me what you brought me. What the hell is this? Your leftovers from lunch? No, no, I got you your own. Calm down. This is the Barbecue Taco Trio. It's from Fat Boy's Barbecue. Look, try that one there. That's the brisket. Damn, that's good. Oh, you think that's something? You should try the uh, try the pork there. Damn. Where is this place? Oh, hold on. Let me grab that last taco. Oh, that's the chicken. Oh, yeah. Yeah, anyway, I uh, I know a guy down in Virginia. You go all the way to Virginia for lunch? This episode is once again brought to you by Fat Boys Barbecue and More. Located in scenic Broadway, Virginia. 466 South Main Street. Open Wednesday through Saturday, 11 until sold out. Come on down and slob on their hog. And don't forget to check out our merch store as well. You can find links to these sites and our sponsors in today's episode description. Now, without further ado, here it is, Episode 2 of Season 2, starring Harry Hancock as Detective Richard Magnolia. Leaving that big mansion wasn't easy. I saw quite a few things I wanted to take with me, but Hamilton wasn't having it. He said it wasn't professional. But what does he know? He still does what his wife tells him. How can that pussy-whipped, balding son of a bitch tell me what to do? I'm not balding, dick. Oh, fuck. You can read my thoughts? What? You just called me a pussy-whipped, balding son of a bitch. Out loud? Yes, out loud. Oh. Well? Oh, what? Are you going to apologize for calling me that? Why the hell would I do that? Hey, drop me off by the lab. <sighs> Fine. I was going to stop there anyway. What for? to analyze the evidence we retrieved from the house, of course. Oh, good. So you finally come around on the gum theory? What theory? You found an old piece of gum that was clearly at the scene far before the crime was committed. And you want to waste time and resources chasing that? Why do I have a feeling you doubt my detective skills, Hamilton? Because I do, Magnolia! You chase after completely irrelevant leads and then tie them into some absolutely insane rabbit hole you get fixated on. And then you spend all your energy trying to prove that idea, no matter what the real evidence says. Well, my last insane theory put the fat man behind bars for the rest of his life. Only because the judge apparently suffers from the same type of brain damage you have. Wow. That is a fucking low blow, Hamilton. Yeah, I have brain damage. Sometimes that happens when you serve your country. I fought hard overseas. Once again, Magnolia, you did not serve in the war. Jesus, you act like you fought Hitler himself. Who's that? Oh my god. The genocidal dictator of Germany? Not familiar with him. How have you not heard of him? He killed millions? Tiny mustache? Gave fiery speeches? Was he the guy in those tramp movies? No! 
That's Charlie Chaplin. I've never heard of him either. Somebody should really do something about that first guy. He sounds like a real piece of shit. He's already dead. Well, while I'm happy for that, I will miss his movies. He was a funny man. Charlie Chaplin makes movies. He's still alive. Hitler, the piece of shit, is dead. I'm so fucking confused. Oh my god. Look, let's just go inside already. Okay. boys. Dr. Robinson? Robbie boy? Do not call me that, please. <clears throat> Pardon me. How can I help you gentlemen today? I have some evidence. Can you tell me anything about this piece of gum? Well, actually, Magnolia, uh, Hamilton was speaking first. No. You know what, Doc? Let him go first. His evidence is clearly going to be the big break in the case. Wow, I'm glad you're finally coming around, Hammy. Thanks for your support. <laughs> no, thank you. I have my own gum. Oh, no, Doc. He ain't offering you a piece of gum. That's our big break. That's right. I want you to run every possible test you can think of on this thing. But first, hold it up to your face for a second. Like this. Perfect. Good heavens! My eyes! For fuck's sake, Magnolia, when did you grab my camera? When you were going on about that Charlie Hitler guy. Damn it! Bloody hell! Well, I'm gonna go scope some other leads. I'll be back this evening. Hold on. What? The camera. Give it back. <sighs> Fine. Oh, fuck! Damn it, Magnolia! My vision is mostly back. Are you okay, detective? <sighs> yeah. He does that to me a few times a week. So luckily I adjust back pretty quick. Well, what did you want to talk to me about then? Oh, uh, yeah. I've got some samples of dirt. And a roll of film that needs to be developed as well. Ah, dirt from inside and outside. Well... I'm not sure how accurate of a profile I can develop on this, but I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Doc. I've got a few leads to chase myself. I'll be back with you in the morning. Sounds fine, lad. Jesus Christ! Magnolia, you scared the shit out of me. I thought you left. I was leaving, but then I remembered you have the car keys. Well, yeah, it's my car. I thought you were going to walk. No, I'm far too drunk to walk that far. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hop in. You can go with me. We'll put the camera in the trunk so I know where it is. Right next to the shit hose? No! As far away as possible from that shit hose. I thought I told you to get that thing out of my car, Magnolia. Okay, fine, I'll hold it. You know what? Never mind. Hamilton, whatever you need to say to me, you can say in front of my hose. I promise you won't offend him. What? I'm not worried about offending your shit hose. I'm sorry. I'm just a little stressed lately. What's going on? You can talk to me. You know you're like a brother to me. I know you think of me as your big dick swinging partner, but I'm just a man like you, Hamilton. 
It's just, I want to believe I'm a good detective. I mean, I try hard, you know that. But then you throw out your insane theories, and somehow, through a series of complete chaos, a judge agrees with you? If that happens with this piece of gum, I may lose my fucking mind, Magnolia. Oh my god. You're jealous of me. What? No! I'm just sick of illogical situations following me everywhere I go. Yeah, okay. I could see the jealousy in your eyes when you saw my home a while back. You only wish you had a life like mine. And you're taking it out on my professional career moves. Magnolia, you live in a rundown shithole of a hotel. I live in a four bedroom house in the suburbs. We have a white picket fence and a big yard for the kids and the dog to play in. Why would I be jealous of your hotel? First of all, it's a house tell. Secondly, I know you're not just jealous of that. You envy every aspect of my life. What? Oh, get off your high horse, Hamilton. You wish you could be me. You know my life's perfect, living the single bachelor's life. Snorting beer and pounding cocaine with hookers, passing out before you get a chance to fuck the ugly one in the group because you took too long trying to get your dick to work. Waking up the next morning in a puddle of vomit and piss but feeling bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Hopping into the shower to clean up before work. Having your pecker shrivel up because the hot water heater isn't working. This all sounds depressing as hell. Oh, it is depressing. Depressing that you can't just work for a better life for yourself. I worked hard to get where I'm at. No one's gonna fucking hand it to you. Okay, Dick. Quick unrelated question, though. Fire away. How did you get this job in the first place? Uh, were you a beat cop, or did you go through all the other training? Oh, fuck no. You know my uncle's the chief. I didn't have to do any of that shit. Why do you ask? Oh, that's right. I must have forgot. Say, where are we going anyway? Back to the station. I put an APB out earlier to let the guys in Vice know that there's a possible art thief out there. See if they can stir up any leads. A possible art thief? You aren't convinced it was stolen? I just think we should explore the possibilities, that's all. And where was this attitude when I brought up the gum? <sighs> Fine. Even the gum. That's more like it. Come on, hit that siren. Let's get this shit in gear. Oh shit, can we stop for lunch first? Sure. Tommy Spaghetti's, I'm assuming? Nah, they're closed this week. Really? What for? Well, Tommy's out of town. Went to go see his cousin. Uh, Herbert Fettuccini? You gotta be kidding me. I know, right? The guy's from Sweden. Can I just point out all the problems with that? Probably. Say, put the lights on let's speed this up a little bit. I'm tired of listening to you talk. Where are we going? Let's swing by Rudy's Deli. Just a nice light sandwich for lunch. How about that? Why, hello there, Magnolia. You must be Hamilton. At least you smell the way Dick's described you. What's that supposed to... Hey, Rudy. The usual, please. Okay, so that's six pastrami on rye, extra meat and mustard, ten corned beef sandwiches with extra sauerkraut, fourteen potato lockies, and fourteen hot dogs, extra mustard and onions. Jesus Christ! Oh, don't you start with me. Yes, Rudy, thank you. And for you, Hamilton. What did you just call me? Oh, don't be dramatic. Just order, asshole. God damn it. I'll take a corned beef sandwich. Oh, go figure. What's that supposed to... That'll be $20. You got it right, Hammy. I'm gonna go take a leak. Grab a seat at the bar for us. What? Jesus! It's almost half of my house payment.
Oh, no need to brag about how rich you are, Hamilton. Magnolia, we've been over this. Shut the door when you're taking a piss. Sorry, fuck. I'm done now. Let me just shake him off first. Oh, oh yeah. I know you're playing with it, boy. All right, God. Not even gonna wash your hands, Dick? Why would I do that? Well, aside from just taking a piss, you were also carrying the shit hose around earlier. So? It's my shit. Here's your food, lads. Oh, I think this one's yours, Hammy. Wait, don't t- <sighs> Why'd you touch it? I was handing it to you. Well, now it's all covered in your germs. Oh, shit, you're right. Sorry, here, have one of mine. You touched that one, too! Damn it. I lost my appetite. Rudy, can I use your phone? I'll just call the office and see if we have any messages. Sure, I'm just running a free phone shop now. Go for it. I ordered food. Don't be a prick about it. Oh, really? Well, what'd you think of the food, then? You just saw what happened, right? I'm not eating anything that's going to taste like Magnolia's dick. The phone is for diners only. Don't worry, Hamilton. I piss hands free. Don't even touch the little fella most of the time. I even shook him off with my left hand, so I didn't really touch your food with it. All right, well... I did, however, piss all over my hand, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, uh, why did you wait to tell me that? I didn't want to ruin your appetite, buddy. Can I use your fucking phone now, Rudy? Sure, go for it, piss breath. God damn it. Detective Hamilton, badge number 4145. Yes. Messages, please. Okay, thanks. Come on, Magnolia. Dr. Robinson has something for us. All right. Good thing you already paid for this. I'm full. Are you kidding me? You ate half of a sandwich. I can't control my tum-tum, Hammy. Let's go. Duck? Ah, lads. Good to see you so soon. What have you got? Well, from the photos, it would appear as though the dirt and grass were there before the glass was broken. I believe, judging from everything I see here, that the window was broken from the inside. And then some glass was thrown in the room to make it appear as though someone had broken in. So it's an inside job? Possibly. And the gum? It's just a piece of gum, Richard. Nothing of importance. See? I told you! Give me that gum, Doc! Hamilton! What are you doing? I'm gonna chew it, Dick. I can still taste your piss. Oh, come on, that's our whole case. God damn it. Anyhow, I've also got a note from Vice that says there's a word of an illegal art show taking place tonight. Really? It could be the break we needed, Magnolia. Don't talk to me, Hamilton. The case is blown now that you're chewing on the only evidence we had. It wasn't evidence, Dick. Come on, let's go. It's at the old warehouse. The one near Tommy Spaghetti's at 8 p.m. Thanks, Doc. We got some time to kill. Let's go stake it out. Paying me to do this job, let me do it. God damn. <sighs> Tune in next Monday at 8 a.m. Have your morning coffee and relax with us. Good night and good luck. All right, all right, we're clear. Come on, Greg, let's go get you that Coke. <laughs>